Year Ones, I'm really excited to be reading our alien stories from Amber class today. Our first story is called Odie and the Bad Alien. One day there was a green slimy alien called Odie. He lived on planet Jupiter which was as cold as ice. He was a good alien. Odie was playing with his friends when suddenly... <gasps> A humongous red bad alien came shooting his slime gun at Odie. Bang! Smash! Luckily, Odie's friend, Sherry, takes the slime gun off the baddie and takes him on a spaceship to jail. Odie and his friends were happy. The end. What a fantastic story. Our next story is about an alien called Shah. Once upon a time there was an alien called Shah and he lived on Jupiter. Jupiter has the hottest volcano going over the years. The volcano is so hot it is full of burning lava. It is so noisy it splatters all over the place. Suddenly Shah sees a giant red rocket flying above his head. It's about to hit a shooting star. Crash. Our next story is called Isla. One bright sunny day on the sun, alien Isla has a laser eye. She is sad and lonely. Isla had a great idea. She built a big rocket to travel to the galaxy to find a friend. Suddenly she ran out of lava. She ran out of lava oil and then she crashed into Earth. Oh no! Isla was scared. She remembered that she had her laser eye power. She cut out a hole in the rocket that she, and she floated down to safety. She met nice people and she wasn't lonely anymore. And now she has friends. And our next story is called... Boucher's Scary Journey. A long, long time ago, it was a sunny morning on planet Mars. Boucher was inside his spaceship. <gasps> Crash! Bang! <gasps> Suddenly her spaceship fell and crashed into planet Earth. Luckily, some kind people held Boucher and she got back home. She was very happy and she had a party with her friends. And our last story today is called Violet's Adventure. Once upon a time it was a lovely day so Violet decided to visit planet Earth. All of a sudden there was a very loud crash which made Violet scared. Violet was enjoying her walk and was going to cross the road. As she went to go across she saw a car being driven quite fast towards her. <gasps> Because of her magic powers, she was able to jump out of the way. The next day, Violet decided to go home. She used her magic powers once more and arrived home in time for tea. As it had been a very tiring day, she decided to go to bed. The ants. We loved all your stories, Amber Class, and thank you so much for sending them to Mrs. O'Callaghan and I. We hope you enjoyed our story time today. Bye.